this is a uh, this is a uh, an ad like one of those things you know as a grammar gears. Uh, it's been a while since I last did one of these things, and, uh, th and I've been watching TV a bit and seeing this ad that really, really has gone run on my gears. To which, which actually speaks a lot of truth with uh, with hypocrisy and other and other things of, of that nature. I've been what as I've been watching TV and came across this ad from Gumtree. The gum tree uh, has a a woman piling up a a a, a pile of what uh, predominantly male-oriented stuff, you know, sporting goods and mo motorized stuff, equipment, uh, motorized equipment plus other such things, and. The fellow in the ad goes, "Ah, oh, are you going out? Like, are you going out for a a game for like a run, or are you going to w do some working out?" Well, she replies, "No, I'm selling this slash your stuff on Gumtree." And before the man was able to get to the uh, woman to say, hey, wait, no, she's already thrown the stuff up into the air, and he was like, and he falls back down in the seat, in a, in, in a depressive state, but then, a bag of cash, you know, falls down in his lap, in his lap, and he goes, Oh, this is good. Shake, shake, shake. Then goes to oh, then goes to, like the advertising of the ad goes country, da 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 da. But you, but then he goes oh, country dot com dot you, you know type type thing. The, the thing moves aside and has a woman going like this, you know. And the man goes, no, you're not doing, you're not taking that, and puts the money in the, uh, the uneasy shirt. With the woman still demanding the fella give the money to her from her ill-gotten gains. I do say this, you know, well, well, well. How and I'll say, how would you know? As a person, you would feel that a so-called loved one behind your back sold something, something or items that you loved. It could be uh, like TV, like sport, actually TV collectibles. You know, with um, you know, with, with certain magazines of your of that particular show's a a actors and actresses uh, on it on the cover. Uh, TV guides with that cut with the face in that on, on the cover, magazines and and that from that TV show. If they have like some collectibles, you know, collectible figures and that. To uh, movie collectible and uh, movie items, you know, like DVDs and also DVDs with the sports uh, with the the uh, TV collectibles, you know. Uh, again, you know, props, or in my case, uh, Naruto, you know, in my case, weaponry, and headbands, and pouches, and things of that nature from Naruto, or something like that, you would, and also, also throw in the sports collectibles, and and it and other things you and oh and we're gonna even go down to or even things that uh, you would use like tools you know saws drills uh, grinders and and the like you know so occupational items like hairdressers laptops knife sets and the like to cars trucks four wheel drives 
or four by fours. And and like you know, and that's and that's for you to do to do your job to do it in to do it correctly. But then you have that loved one. Go all right. This is doing nothing in in the house, or this is doing nothing in the garage. This is doing nothing here, there, and everywhere. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Okay, box set ULC 31, this in good condition, uh, mint condition has, has, has enough plastic, alright, so, so, so that one, uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations, card edition, has an open, mint condition, uh, A collection of colorful 10 pin bowling pins of, of Marvel characters, candle burning uh, chandeliers, and, and just imagine like such a like, different list, you know. For me, it's like Naruto, you know, uh, a set of like. A huge collection of headbands, plus weapons, this and the other. Opening price, uh, $50 and, and that. Then you got, like, um, Rosario Dawson DVD collection, you know, or, and something along those lines, but then, but just to have, to go with your loved one, to sell your favorite possessions to, those possessions, they so, they sold them, and yeah, and um, uh, do you know where the movie Unstoppable Unstoppable is? I'm trying to find it. I, while I'm looking, I, I can't see Josie and the Pussycats. Um, let's see. And where in hell is Unstoppable? I need to find out that your loved one had sold the these items on on Gumtree or on eBay or put on, let's just keep on on Gumtree at this moment for and you go oh the DVDs those DVDs with Rosario Dawson in them I sold them on Gumtree and uh, you know what babe I've got Two hundred dollars from the from the, the DVD collections. Let me see. That loved one, loved one, had stolen your the those possessions and sold possession those stolen possessions to get money. And you have that loved one say oh I use that it, and since we're done actually you know screw, I'm screwing on all this you know you know now being like your girl say oh I used to, to to get my to get my hair done to get my manicure to get my pedicures done yeah you know, all my womany things done Fixed up, you know, I don't look all beautiful. I also bought a nice dress out of the change. And you see the dress, you see the new hair, you see the nails, you see the feet. And it's because of this DVD, this, the sale of those DVDs alone, you cannot, you cannot, what, you cannot enjoy your, your movies because of your, you know, loved one. We're selling them for a little bit of money. And, 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 and things of that nature. But yet, yeah, I know for a fact, if this was done in verse, 
just say a man would have taken down a collection of female themed uh, like fem female themed posters like uh if it was like a like a pile of in sync and backstreet boys the uh, you know posters from the from the past uh VHS tapes from like from the concerts ticket stubs from the concerts and and all that stuff that makes a girl would feel good for for a youth or and um if it was for like you know items that that women would not use or hasn't used in a long time but yeah like yeah you know, hair curlers and hair uh, and o and also some kitchenware that uh, people just said all right here you can have it type deal let's But then you go, all right. Even if it isn't, it, it, it's, you know, the sell on Gumtree, and they go, all right, so, you know, boom, so, boom, so, boom, so, sold, so, you know? I know for a fact, if that did happen in the ad, in, in a <laughs> reversed manner, You'd have every Patricia, Dee Dee, Helen, Rachel, Courtney, and every woman or feminist group up in arms saying, Oh, why? Why? You. You have. They'll say so to the TV, you know. He, yeah. She should take that man to court because he's he's, you know, for theft because you know he stole the things. You don't treat a woman like that. And along, uh, you know, also along those, you know what? If a man, that man should have it should be dumped, or if they're married, she should divorce his ass and take half of his possessions. And also, that bastard should be tossed behind bars for stealing from from a woman. And also, the, the, after with them yelling that thing to the TV, they would go and say, and literally pick it at the front of free to wear news, uh, free to wear stations. Uh, will it be in Victoria? Will it be in Victoria for Channel Nine? Martin Place in Sydney for Channel Seven. Ultima for ABC in Sydney. And just to go, you you know, going you executive pigs, you support what you've done, set back women's rights by twenty, forty, fifty, sixty years. We do not like it. Take this ad off. If not, we will sue your ass. Which can happen in today's day and age. Also, they will sue Gumtree for for posing such a for putting up such an ad and the ad agency to boot to go. Well, we are we we don't like what you put on their ad. We don't like how you portrayed a man. You know, we should. You know, we shouldn't. We shouldn't be accepting these things. And they'll go, and they'll go on and on and on with these things. Going to court, it'll be a multi-million dollar settlement with the news aid, with the uh, TV networks that have shown the ad, with the at with the company itself and with the ad agency
and I know all you if you if girls are watching this and they go, Oh you can't talk like that about us. We wanna do such a <coughs> guess what? You can. And I've seen quite a lot of women do those sort of things. And I've seen a couple of girl a couple of young ladies who have sued for a 50 year old advert saying to women, if you want a man, shut up and stay in the kitchen. Or get out the work if you want to, if you want a man, don't worry about work, don't worry about your own success. Support the man. Give him a Give him a cocktail after every drink, after every day of work. Wear pretty lipstick, wear pretty clothes, wear pretty shoes. And after he comes home, you massage his feet, you massage his body. You even have sex with him. I have seen those, I have seen those adverts promoting the ideal. But that was back in the day. And I know what I said, it... If you said that now it would be you know, very much a derogatory terminology to, to say towards women, but today, in today's day and age, I do see a lot of hypo in t in today's in t in that ad. I do see a lot of hypocrisy. Uh, women would not want men to do that to them, but or they would know that if they showed that for like a man to do that to a woman. They'll get a whole heap of shit thrown on them. For the simple reason is, a man sold, you know, a lot of women, like, what women would find beautiful and attractive, you know, like, uh, oh, what's those things on the table? Are you surprising, are you going to be surprising me with them? They go, no, nah, love, they're yours. I'm just, I'm going to be sell, I'll sell them on Gumtree. And before he gets to... Before she goes to no, I buy a love, and and go, Aw. the money goes that the money you send towards her, and he just goes yoink. No no yeah, you know, he would go, he wouldn't just go, mm mm. He would go, haha, thanks, Gumtree. That would be race. That would be sexist. And although, but yet they don't do that. They get men's possessions and a woman to to. Uh, to get the uh, to to get to sell them and have all this ill-gotten gains given to her and but like she tosses the tosses the thing into the air and the money goes on he gets on him and he goes hey you know you saw my eyes go you're not getting you're not getting my uh, you're not getting my money they're my items they're my money. But as I said, if it was done in reverse, there would be a lot of there would be a lot of women protesting every uh, network and station and that for a man doing the same thing. But a man would definitely take the money away from the woman. That would be that's no that would be a given because in the end they'll have like the more of a big brawny fella and a skinny woman and the woman. It says, uh uh, he goes, yeah, hey, yoink, takes the uh, the, the bag of money, goes, yoink, and woof, pushes her away. And to see, and, and I am a, I'm a Christian, I've said, I'm, I'm a Christian on various videos. This. The reason why I keep it in here is to keep it c close, well, close enough to my heart without even uh, without surgical implantation of it. Uh, I believe in the Ten Commandments and the rule of law, well, the rule of law of man. How it says, "Thou shalt not steal," and that ad 
promotes stealing, it promotes a woman stealing from her boyfriend or her husband, or even life partner. And that mostly gets what gets me up with well, that and the sexist thing where the woman is demanding the money that, uh, you know, she demands money, but yet she stole and and the man gets the reward, you know, it's just, as I said, if it happened in, in reverse, I, I'll still be uh, up in arms about it because, you know, it's, it's, it's stealing, but yet it's just this attitude to go, all right, we can have a woman stealing from a man, but we can't have a man stealing from a woman to promote these to, to promote the company. And I say, well, if, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. You might as well show the uh, man like a man stealing from a woman. But yet, I will not promote such a uh, such a thing. I'm sure we'll be at back on here saying that the man stole from her. You know. I were to have these gum tree ads, I would do them completely differently. But to anyone who watches gum tree, who watches the, this ad and wants to support such an such an act, go right ahead, support the the tyrants of stealing and the dictators of get what get what is not rightfully yours and yep that's it I've been Rhino Barrows and this has been an ad that grind my gears